no, you did not transport back to 2007 when times were simple and beauty gurus were just sitting on the floor in their living room and or bedroom talking about their contents of their bags. We are in 2019 and I just wanted to get nostalgic. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to film today and nothing was speaking to me as much as filming a what's in my bag video right now. I don't even know the last time that I filmed a what's in my bag video. You know what, Let, let's look. Let's just take a gander and see wh when the last time this happened. It's four years ago in 2014. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a classic beauty guru video and that video is a what's in my purse video. Now I have not done a what's in my purse video since I first started my channel, which was two years ago. So obviously a lot has changed since I last did a what's in my purse video. So I figured I would do an updated one for you guys. It's time. We need to update this. Oh, hi guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot to say hello and greet you and welcome you to my channel. Today, obviously, we're going to be doing a what's in my bag video. I am very excited, probably more excited than I really should be. Why am I wearing a sports bra on my channel to do this video? I really don't have an answer for you. I just wanted to. I actually have my gym bag also here right next to me. Should I do what's in my gym bag video? Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. If this video excites you so much that you wanna see something else in the same realm, I have another option. I would love if you guys could let me know in the comments today what you keep in your bag. Just give me like an itemized list, okay? I kind of wanna know, I'm curious. First things first, on the docket, we have to talk about the bag in question and it's this guy over here. This has been my current favorite summertime bag. Now, what is this called? I don't know. Let me look it up. Louis Vuitton backpack. <gasps> oh my God, they have such cute new bags right now. I want some of them. <laughs> this is dangerous. Is this what you are? I don't think you're on the website. Oh no, found you. Okay, so this is the Louis Vuitton Clapton backpack in creme. I actually bought this guy for myself last year from myself to myself for my birthday, and it has become probably one of my go-to bags year-round. As far as designer bags go, I know some people love them, some people hate them, some people think they're a waste of money, some people think they're a great collector's item. For me personally, I really enjoy collecting bags. It doesn't really matter if it's designer or not, I just really love bags. I don't know what it is, it's just something that like I'm really attracted to. As far as Louis Vuitton bags go, if you're curious, I actually find them to be probably some of the more durable bags that I have in my collection. I've had this for over a year. Like I said, I use it to death every single day. To be honest, I'm really not careful with it. I tend to fling it around. Like I'm not really somebody who really enjoys babying a bag. If I have to carry around a bag where I have to be really, really careful with it, it's just really not for me because I don't like to be careful with my possessions. <laughs> and if you look at the bag itself, it looks pretty much completely unharmed. There are like no scratches on it. There's really no signs of wear. Even like the gold hardware has no scratches on it or anything like that. I've been wearing this consistently for a year and it looks still completely brand new, which is Awesome. This bag is also pretty versatile, which I like. It is a backpack and I typically wear it as a backpack. I've never actually worn it as like a long strapped bag, but you are able to actually detach these straps and just attach them right at the top if you want just like a normal strapped bag. But I like to wear it as a backpack because it's honestly so convenient. So here's what it looks like on. It pairs just beautifully with my mint green Gymshark set. Not typically the outfit that I would pair with this bag, but it's what I'm wearing currently. And it still honestly goes. It doesn't look bad because it is a neutral brown color. So this little keychain on the bag I did purchase separately and I was totally roped into doing so against my will, I will say that. So I was at the Louis Vuitton store purchasing this bag over here and I was ready to just purchase this and be on my way. And then the sales associate was like, do you wanna see some keychains? And I was like, listen, you're not gonna upsell me on some keychains, but yes, let me see the keychains. So she takes out the keychains she puts this guy on this bag. Okay, I'm gonna put it on so you guys can actually see what it looks like because it's so freaking cute and you'll understand why I uh, had to purchase it. I really had no choice. So she put this keychain on the bag and um, I really just had no choice at that point and I had to purchase it. Anyways, all I'm saying is these Louis Vuitton keychains are so incredibly overpriced, they make me sick. But these small little details, as annoying as it is, really does make the bag and I feel like it just kind of elevates the bag to the next level and makes it a little bit special. And what's really cool about these little keychains though is 
is that you don't only have to keep them on one bag obviously you can kind of switch them around so right now I am wearing it on my backpack um, just because I feel like it adds a fun little touch to the bag I love that it's like a rainbow makes it a little bit colorful a little bit more like sassy which is cute all right I know the suspense is killing you right now so I will now show you what is in my bag are you ready three two one First things first, let's talk about the makeup that I like to bring with me that I don't actually have a little pouch. I just keep all of my makeup products in the back pouch of my bag. The hair tie. I mean, if you don't have a hair tie with you at all times, what are you doing? You're living on the edge. I don't understand you. This one is the silk hair ties. They're really nice because they don't actually put creases in your hair. They're a little bit better for you as well. Well, not better for you, better for your hair. Um, it creates less breakage. I just have been really enjoying them and I haven't lost all of them yet, which is great. So A++ job on me. Got my Clarins Hydra, what do you call it? Hydra Essential Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm. One of my favorite lip balms. I love how like silky this feels on the lips. I'm actually almost out of it. I use it to death. It's probably one of my most used and kind of like traveled around lip balms. I always have to have this with me no matter what bag I'm wearing. And then I've got my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm and Berry. I've spoken about this so much recently. This is one of my favorite glosses. Such an easy gloss just to kind of throw on. It, it adds such a nice high shine finish, but it's also really nice and moisturizing and it smells so good. My Dior Lip Glow in the shade 102. This is one of the matte lip glows. So this is pretty much just like a very, very sheer lip product. Here it is just swatched on the back of my hand and this is built up quite a bit. It's kind of like a bright fuchsia shade, but what I actually like this for, especially for every day and just having it in my bag is when I feel like I need to add a little bit of color to my lips, but I don't actually want to add either a gloss or an actual lipstick. I'll just take this and kind of just dab it on my lips and it will just give me a really nice wash of color. Similar to that product, I have this new Gucci lipstick in the shade Penelope Plum. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. You can see it kind of just gives like a a really natural almost wine stain effect to the lips I've got another lip balm here this is the pharmacy honey butter beeswax lip balm it's a really nice one it's just a lip balm not much to say about it then I've got one of my nude stick glosses in nude 04 this is another one of my go-to's this is a great little like pinky nude gloss it's so comfortable to wear easy to pop on I love it two nude lip liners in here I've got Pat McGrath contour and then Mac world these are just great um, pretty like go-to lip liners that kind of go with everything lastly for my lip products I have the Dior lip glow in 001 this is just the original shade it's a, pretty much just like a tinted lip balm the only other two makeup products that I like to keep with me that are not not lip products are these two guys from nude six so I have the nude six nudies tinted blur stick so because this is a foundation stick it's a really easy product to use to touch up on the go I can just pretty much draw it anywhere on my face and blend it out with my fingers it's a really easy product to use and so even if I'm wearing another foundation that's not this I will still use this to touch up throughout the day I find it blends with pretty much any other foundation that I'm wearing. I always also like to throw in one of my Nude 6 Chic products. This is the Nudies Bloom in Poppy Girl. I kind of switch it out just depending on my mood, but right now I'm really, really loving Poppy Girl, which is just like this bright reddish coral shade. These are really great because you can use them on the eyes, cheeks, or lips. Um, so if I ever feel like I need a little bit more blush or I want to even add this to my lips or even on my eyes, I can do so. I lied and found another lip balm in my bag. This is the Classy Mint Balm.com, a classic. Now I am somebody who always, always likes to bring perfume around with me because you just never know when you gotta smell good and sometimes I run out the door and I forgot to put my perfume on so it's always good to have one in my bag and I never have to worry about you know not smelling amazing so my favorite perfume to bring around with me and actually one of my go-to scents is this Nemat vanilla musk rollerball perfume this is actually perfume oil it's the most beautiful beautiful vanilla scents like I can't even describe to you how good this smells and what I really like about this particular perfume is that it mixes well with literally every single perfume that I have and I find that it kind of transforms it a little bit so even if I am wearing another perfume throughout the day I will still dab a little bit of this like throughout my body and it just kind of transforms the perfume that I'm already wearing so I always like to keep this with me because just like touching up my makeup I touch up my perfume a tampon an organic tampon in true Jamie Page Beauty fashion Purell wipes. Always like to bring these with me when I am traveling. I have used this bag with me 
multiple times when I'm on flights, which is actually the real reason why these are in there. I always buy these at the airport and I wipe down my like area on the plane with them. And then after my flight, I just keep them in my bag just for, you know, future use. And I also like to have these on hand throughout the day, especially if my hands are feeling a little bit grimy, but I'm not near a sink or a bathroom where I could wash my hands, but I kind of am just itching to disinfect. <laughs> these come in handy. Then of course we've got sunglasses. These are my current favorite sunglasses that I've been wearing the most recently. I believe this is a local Montreal brand called Voile. And this is what they look like. I'm not sure what the style is. I will try and find them though and link them down below in case you're interested, but I'm obsessed with these. They kind of just go with everything because they are black. But what I really like about them is the fact that they're kind of seamless. When you look at them from the front, the whole lens kind of just goes across the whole entire frame. So it just looks really, really cool and seamless. And they have a really cool reflection to them as well, which kind of makes them look very high quality. I actually have a disposable camera in my bag and no, I did not put it there just for this video. I literally have been carrying around a disposable camera with me everywhere I go. So quick little backstory. Around my birthday, my friend actually suggested that we bring a disposable camera with us for our night out because she recently used one for like another Thing and she developed the pictures and, and they just turned out so great. And there's something just really nostalgic and nice about having like physical documentation from the night that you had. I remember when I was a kid and I had albums upon albums upon albums of physical photos that I developed from like vacations or just like hanging out with my friends and they're so much fun to look back on and I kind of miss having that because we are so used to just taking pictures with our phones and not printing them out ever and just having all those pictures living on one device and never actually holding them. So I kind of feel like it's just, it's just not the same. And so over my birthday, I use a disposable camera and I have all the pictures. Wait, let me get them. They're so fun. I actually posted some of them on Instagram over my birthday, but here's a few more in case you're curious. <laughs> it was just so much fun to actually get these pictures developed. Um, I had so much fun looking through all of them. So first of all, I came to the conclusion that I can never keep my eyes open when I'm drunk and every single one of these pictures, my eyes are closed tight. But besides that, I also realized that I kind of want to have more physical photos in my life and start creating albums again, just to, you know, have these memories stay alive for like years and years to come. Needless to say, I've been carrying around disposable cameras with me and just kind of taking photos when I feel the time is right, when I want to capture a moment. Let's actually take a photo right now to remember this moment. Let's take a selfie, guys. Beautiful, you did great. Next up, we've got gum, very important. Why is this gum soggy? Ew, if you're wondering what my go-to gum is, it is Excel Polar Ice. I've got a reusable straw in here because I'm an eco-friendly bitch. I have been trying to be very good with not using plastic straws along with a lot of other things that I'm trying to implement in my everyday life to be more eco-friendly. This is one of them, so I carry around the straw with me wherever I go, just in case I need a straw um, and I don't wanna use a plastic one that's provided by the restaurant, I will just use this one. An Optimum card, pharmacy, gotta get those points. Oh, a stray piece of gum, very nice. AirPods. AirPods are very, very important for me to carry around with me pretty much everywhere. I use these everywhere I go. If I'm walking around somewhere, these are in my ears. I just love listening to music as I'm on the go. I wear these also when I work out, so I always make sure that they are on my person at all times so that I do not forget my music because I cannot work out without music in my ears. It is impossible. So, so if I get to the gym and my AirPods are not with me, I'm leaving the gym. My little card holder with all of my cards. I actually don't carry around a wallet with me anymore. I used to definitely be a wallet carrier. I used to have like a giant wallet that was this big that I, that I would carry with me in all my bags, but it just takes up so much room and I much prefer um, using a card holder now. No, my initials are not CD. This guy is actually from Dior. It's one of my most used designer pieces probably. I mean, it's a little bit more worn than my bag, that's for sure, because it's a softer leather, but I use it to death and I love the little stars on here. That's why I got it, I just thought it was so cute. The very last thing that is in my bag ugh, is this, a hand cream. I always like to have a hand cream with me. I don't even apply hand cream because I want to moisturize my hands. I apply hand cream more of like a boredom thing. Like when I'm bored waiting for something, I'll just apply like multiple layers of hand cream on my hands. Is that weird? Does anybody else do that? <laughs> 
Now that I'm saying it out loud, it sounds a little bit weird. <laughs> this is the Aesop, uh, what are you called? Intensive Body Balm in the scent Tangerine Rind Vanilla and Sandalwood. It pretty much smells like vanilla orange. It is so nice and refreshing and every time I apply it, it kind of just reminds me of the summertime. So that is it, my friends. That is everything that is in my bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this nostalgic little video. I had a lot of fun doing this. It was just so much fun and casual. Again, let me know if you'd like to see me do a video all about what's in my gym bag. It's a little bit more extensive. There's a lot of shit in here that I can go through. I also have a more extensive makeup bag. This is everything that I like to bring with me to the gym. So more than happy to go through it if you guys want to see it hit that thumbs up button if you missed 2007 beauty guru videos subscribe if you want to join the fam and i will see you guys in the next one bye